Hi, it's Kim with KimandPerry.com. I'm going to show you really fast because I like really fast stuff. I'm going to show you how to hide all your restock recommendations. I know Amazon says that that doesn't necessarily help your IPI. Actually, what they say is it doesn't directly affect your inventory performance index, your IPI score. They don't tell us if it indirectly affects that score. And they do tell us that there are four influencing factors for that score. Guess what? One of them is this right here. So let's just take a look at how fast and easy it is to do these in bulk. And you know, it won't hurt anything to do it, I think. And who knows, maybe it'll help our score. So to get to this page, we went to inventory, inventory planning, and that took that takes us to the dashboard. And then we clicked on restock inventory that brought us here. Next, we click Customize SKU Settings, and that will bring us over here. This is the page where you want to be. So you're going to click Generate Report, and it will take a couple of minutes to generate. It says in progress, right? But I already did it earlier today, so this one is ready to download. When you download it, here is what you're going to see. It's going to pop up with a file like this. And it's going to have a list of all your SKUs. A lot of some of these might be inactive. Um, most of them, most of mine were active, and a bunch of these had hide items. A bunch of them did not. There were a bunch of no's here. So all we have to do is highlight that yes, and then double click the little corner here, and it'll copy yes all the way down. See, I just did. 18,749 yeses in a double click. Now I'm done. Now I need to save my changes and then I would need to go back to this same page, choose file, upload that file, and it'll take a few minutes to take effect. But that's the whole process. I just updated 18,000 of those saying yes, hide it. And you're welcome.